chuff with that. It's come out so good, the bike. What I would like to do is give a bit of insight into the designs for the team, uh, bikes, frame paint and jerseys, just for a bit of interest. So uh, I'll do that, get on the laptop, show you what's on. Okay, let's get going. So we'll start with a hamster jersey. That was the first one I put together this year. And it started with a conversation with a mate, Huggy, and it went down the road of hamsters. So that's where we started. Uh, this was the hamster I screenshotted. So big shout out to whoever's hamster this is. Came somewhere along this line, started liking the reflection coming off the hamster's feet. Thought that had a nice vibe to it. Um, and then obviously to come up with the reflection needed something behind it, like a bit of sun. So that was like building that up. The shadow on the back of the hamster there, uh, over here, that originally was in and it was sort of like floodlit as well, but I uh, dropped that at a later stage and then came up and pretty much that was pretty base design. They used that for the launch of the team this year, uh, put it together pretty quickly. Anyway, I knew it could be refined and improved on quite a lot. So then I went down the road of tuning it. Decided the hamster just as an image just wasn't right. It wasn't sitting right with me. So I drew around all the dark and light patches and colored them in to give it this sort of style and kept the crown on it as well. Did the same to the crown so for the king hamster. Uh, and then was pretty chuffed with that. But I thought it needed depth, had no depth to it. it was bit too flat so to do that I faded down the sun through to coral dropped a sort of a V in the hills with the trees and then a uh, lake behind the hamster with the coral fading through that as well and I thought that gave it some sort of depth perception which I was quite into that's it the words kind of take away from it a little bit there but that's the vibe M main vibe I was going for so sun setting reflection and then these big streaks coming off the hamster uh, and the main reason for the streaks was that they can grow out as far as you want so I can make the hamster like a tiny little image in the middle and then have the big streaks for a jersey was my, my thought there uh, and put them on the back as well that gives it uh, sort of stands out from a distance so that is the first mock I sent to Endura and Amy basically drew it from there. And I always like to keep it as similar as possible to the original concept, but I did it in the wrong file format. So she had a bit of a task on her hands getting that actually looking like that. So kudos for that. And further down the line, I tried green because I wanted to tie it in with Hope a little bit more, but I just thought the streaks looked a bit more from a distance, a bit more like vomit than reflection. So I couldn't do that. But anyway, that was just a try. And that's uh, oh, that's the end of that. So that's the that's the hamster one. And then here's an, here's a few old ones which I've done in the past. So that was the laser cat from year two, um, and I was pretty I was pleased with that because that was the first of this style I went for, and I kind of feel like I really clicked with that. I was enjoying that style, so done a bit more of that in, since then. But that was the original. Um, come for like a pyramid. Took the cat. The laser eyes were less fierce laser eyeing it and more sort of like dazzled a bit cross-eyed vibe I uh, thought I was quite into that and then last year I had the Liger and the original Liger had wings um, but when I put it on the jersey it just didn't work with wings so dropped them it was lost its ability to fly but that is the Liger jersey in its original first mock and then uh, to go with that I wanted to do Bee Gees, love the Bee Gees, um, Bee Gees in Space, this was called, Bee Gees in Space 2, um, but Pam from Endura said she wasn't going to jail for me over copyright, so I was like, fair enough, that's no bother, so I switched the Bee Gees out for a llama, uh, which I'd used in film VR goggles, the first one, and that's it when it got made to Jersey, and plenty of you have got that now, so well done. Uh, so that's kind of a few ones there that have made it and haven't made it. And my second one this year is a, f a bird. 
Can't remember the name of it. Uh, okay. Uh, and so, yeah, I had a bird on a jumper that I was enjoying wearing. Very lovely jumper. Uh, used that when I bust out the shed with Ferg at the start of the year in a film as well, so that was good. And then I wanted to make that in the style of the hamster, so I cut, um, sort of drew it and block coloured it like that. Added in the leaves and and there's the bird. So that was good. And then again to try and, ah, oh, that was going to be a potential helmet design muck off, which I put together and we've gone for a way more camo design in the end, which will be in my possession very soon. Very chuffed about that. But that was an original idea. Ah. And then just to give it its uh, slight depth, even though you probably can't tell, but I originally wanted that to be like a moon behind it and it had uh, moon-like craters on it, but that got too messy. So I didn't do that, just kept it a white circle, nice and plain and really popped. So pretty chuffed with that. Uh, let me see, I've got some, these are the 3D ones that Endura put together before printing, just to check. That's actually pink, but now it's coral. So it's slightly different, but that's where they, they came from. And that's pretty much the jerseys. And then the task of creating a bike frame design, which is kind of a minefield. You could go as plain or as jazzy as you want and hope gave, gave me a, a blank picture of a bike and said, just play about with that. Even print it off, draw on it, do whatever you want and see what you come up with. So I came up with a few designs to start with. We've got uh, ones that tie in with the hamster reflection, uh, some fades there. And then this bottom left one was the one I was enjoying, but it wasn't, again, wasn't quite sitting right. Um, so played about with that a load more. Um, yeah, you can see it sort of tying in with the jersey there, all the left side of that image. There's Ferg's bike. I'll come to Ferg's bike. So Ferg's was easy because he's committed to the 10 year plan, he told me. 10 year plan of the, the flower jersey. Blue jersey with the daisy on the front. He just loves that. So I love it as well. So bike was pretty easy for Ferg because to tie in with that black and white worked perfectly. And a nice fade on there, carbon shown through on the bottom. Uh, and it matches him with the yellow Olins really nicely. A couple of little green accents on the brakes and Ferg's bike was sorted. So from sort of planning that out, that was relatively easy and has come out so good. So chuffed with that. Uh, a few down the line of me, again, just didn't really work, but the idea was there. But this is the one, the final one I sent through to Bailey uh, and Marjorie at Hope. And the, we tweaked the colors a little bit after because the green, I had a bit more sort of aqua green to blue, but their hope green's not really aqua at all, so I ended up tweaking the blue as well, just I think more prime colours worked better all in all. Uh, kept loads of splatter on it, I was well keen on the splatter. Okay, let's have a look at Bailey sent me some clips through of him spraying the bike. It originated as this beautiful carbon, and uh, it's a shame to paint over that, but my HB130 is in that carbon, so I do have one bike like that. Uh, and then this paint going on. I've done a bit of airbrushing myself and uh, don't envy him very hard, but he's the, he's the boy. The HB916 is the bike and it's uh, Hope Van Oldswick, that's what HB stands for. Paint splatter going on, chuck it on boy. More the better, very nice. And got uh, went for a matte lacquer because apparently when you've got quite a messy design uh, the matte is easier on the eyes than the gloss. And ideally, dropped in nice with my jerseys. So, yeah, really chuffed with how that came out as well. Um, and that is pretty much where we're at. I have some hardware in my possession. Big poster. And uh, also got a load of stickers made. If you would like poster or sticker, just drop me some chat in the comments, anything you like. And uh, I'll pick a couple of people out uh, sometime next week and get them posted out. Got to share the hamster love. Okay, thanks for watching that. A little bit of an insight into a uh, bit of design and stuff. I've got been working on a couple of big film projects recently. Get these things in action. 
So I, uh, I don't forget to drop a comment um, and then I shall message a couple of people and get the goods out. And apart from that, see you later.